It is 944. We are looking at a cloudy midtown Atlanta right now, and we need these clouds to move out because later today you have a chance to see the last ring of fire solar eclipse until 2046. It won't look like this exactly because Metro Atlanta is not in the direct path, but we will still see a partial eclipse. You should only look at the sun if you have special eclipse glasses, or you can go to Anna Murray University for a special viewing party at its planetarium. And the planetarium's director, Aaron Bonning, joins us right now to talk more about this. Aaron, good morning. Thanks for being here. Tell us about this eclipse and, and what it's all about. Hi, yeah. So like you just said, we're going to see a partial eclipse here in Georgia if the clouds clear out. Uh, the eclipse is going to begin just a little bit before noon and at the maximum point, which is just after 1 p.m., about 50 percent of the sun is going to be covered. So uh, if you're looking at it through proper eye protection, uh, you'll see what looks like a big bite being taken out of the sun. <laughs> That's a really good way to put it. And it'll probably look a little dimmer out there again, as long as the clouds uh, start to move on out. Now, how much you, you did touch on this. So how much of the eclipse will we see here? And where is the eclipse going to be fully uh, at maximum capacity be 100 percent? Yeah, so being able to see the full ring of fire effect, that is going to occur across a path kind of from um, Oregon down through Texas and through Central America and out through Brazil. So that's that's the path where you'll see the full ring of fire effect. And for us, we're a little bit off to the side. So we're kind of looking at the eclipse from an angle. So we won't we won't see the full one. OK, we'll take what we can get. What is the <laughs> yeah, best it's time still very, to very see cool. it if we want to step outside and check it out safely? Best time. Uh, around one, around one, anywhere between like 1230 and 130, you're going to see the most of the sun being being covered. And I should mention, if you don't have eclipse glasses or if you can't get to any of the many many viewing parties around metro atlanta uh, you can fashion a pinhole camera put a little pinhole in a piece of cardboard and project the sun through that onto onto the ground you can grab your kitchen colander uh, you can look out where the leaves dapple on shadows on the ground and you can see little mini images of the eclipse there and sometimes that's even cooler than than using the glasses <laughs> absolutely you got to get creative sometimes to stay safe uh, and now if you want people to come out to the planetarium today what do they need to know um well just show up uh check outside your window first if it's cloudy there's no point in coming it's going to be cloudy here too uh, but if as we expect the clouds do do show up uh come on out to emory our parking decks are free on the weekend uh you'll head to the math and science center which is uh, 400 downman drive and go up to the roof we're going to be as close as we can get to it uh, that's where we're going to have our telescope set up with special solar filters and glasses for people to borrow so that uh, you can view the, the eclipse not just through glasses, but also through uh, special telescopes. You can get kind of a zoomed in view on the sun. So Very fun. Erin, uh, we're just about out of time, but I do want to ask you quickly, what do you love about this? I mean, for someone like you, you study this. This is what you live for, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. What's this like to get to experience this? Oh, it's it's super cool. I mean, in my my research, I rarely just walk out the door and look up and can see what I, well, I study. I study black holes, so I literally could never could never see them. And what I really love about these events is just being able to share my love of astronomy with the the broader community who maybe doesn't think too much about eclipses from day to day. Uh, and we get to share that experience together. And that's really wonderful. Well, thank you for awesome. sharing your passion and your expertise with us. Thanks for giving us some time. And we hope these clouds move out. Erin Bonnie so. from the Emory Planetarium. Have fun out there today. All right. So